And welcome back to Talk of Alabama. It's the perfect time right now to build an empire. So much is going on in the world. A lot of people are overwhelmed. And if you work hard enough, you'll stand out. We have a, an empire builder on the show right now. Joining us, Elena Cardone, former Hollywood actress, also a former model, and now an author. She wrote the book, Build an Empire, How to Have It All. Elena, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. What, a, what an absolute honor. My mom lives in Alabama. I have a lot of ties to Alabama, so really happy to be here this morning. Thank you. You do have a lot of ties in Alabama. You have a lot of ties across the U.S., across the globe. <laughs> really quick, I know I'm, I'm not wanting you to, I don't want to make you feel awkward, but talk about the empire uh, that you and your family have built so far. Well, yes, okay, so unapologetically, I'm a girl from New Orleans, Louisiana, middle-class background, um, finally hooked up with my husband, and together we figured out how to work um, in a collaborated effort together. So we stopped kind of battling each other, male-female role, but really figured out who we are and what we bring to the table and in terms of strengths and weaknesses, and we were able to actually push each other to high heightened levels of success. So we've created a $2.4 billion real estate portfolio, assets under management, some of which are in Alabama. And we have an additional 14 other businesses that are multi-million dollar enterprises in and of their own. So I'm very proud of the success that we've created uh, being, he's from Lake Charles, Louisiana. So being to Southern Louisiana, folk, you know, we're, we're proud of ourselves, but we've sort of figured a few things out and now want to ha fast track other people's way to success. An empire builder you are, you did it yourself, now you're trying to help others through this book, Build an Empire, How to Have It All. Uh, building an empire, where do we start? Well, it's easy. The first thing I tell people to do is start with a commitment. It's free. Uh, it takes no amount of effort other than a commitment, a commitment to, and a decision to be great, to defy all the odds, to uh, be willing to hear that you're crazy, that you're a lunatic, and just commit to your journey and your vision and be relentless in the pursuit of greatness. And, and that is really the start of it. Why do people fail and how do they overcome that? So many people are afraid of failure, you know, I, I don't like it, but I'm, I'm okay because I've done it before and I, I jumped to higher heights. Um, but why do people fail and how do you overcome that if you are afraid of failing? I think a lot of people fail because they're waiting for the perfect time or they're waiting for this, this moment to, to just the doors to open and for everything to be right. And I think the perfect syndrome holds people back. And, and also this idea that you have to do everything on your own, you have to create it all, you have to be Mr. or Mr. Independent holds people back and stops them from even starting from the get-go. Um, and, and, and the thing to solve that is just take action. Just do one thing. Just make a list of, you know, you don't have to conquer the entire mountain. Just take the step. And I say just the consistency with the actions over a period of times, it creates certainty, confidence, and self. And you make further headway than, than you would if you just keep putting things off or saying no. And lastly, you know, I think a lot of people stop or are stymied because they hear other people speak negatively or they get one little piece of criticism and they stop or they get scared. And what I tell those people is, you know, if you listen to that person and you stop, you allow them to win. That's what they wanted. They wanted you to fail. They wanted to keep you at the same rung as them because they don't have what you have. They don't have the ideas or the ability to go and get it. So they want to keep you small. So if you quit, you let them win. And not only that, you're greedy because you're not sharing your products and services with the world. And maybe, who knows, maybe you had the idea of the product that could change my life for the better. And when you stop, you deprive me of being able to experience the offerings that you have to give to the world. You made so many good points right there, especially the uh, perfection syndrome or the perfect syndrome. It doesn't exist. 
You just have to be yourself. Uh, we're talking about teams as well, the book does. Team is very important. Myself, I have a very small inner circle. I like it that way. Uh, it helps me focus more um, as, and helps me grow more. What do you say about teams? Teams are crucial. Like I said, no one has ever built an empire alone. So it, the faster you get off of this idea that you have to do everything alone, the faster you're going to grow and expand. And I do agree with you to keep the inner circle tight and small because empires are destroyed from within. They're, they're not destroyed by your known enemy because you know how to protect yourself against them. But the person that's on the inside who really has access to all your resources and, and, and whatnot can actually cause the greatest damage from within. So keep your circle small. I agree with that. But it doesn't mean you can't hire out and expand further beyond that. But the but the inner circle definitely should share the core values and be uh, accountable to the overall mission of what you're trying to accomplish. So agree with you there and expand and learn how to elicit others into your mission and grow your team. Elena, you are amazing. So many great topics there. Uh, your book also talks about, it touches on comfortable, being uncomfortable, as well as should we think about big picture or, or focus on the small things? And you'll have to get a book because we're out of time. You've got to get the book, Build an Empire, How to Have It All. Elena, where can we find it? You can go to elenacardone.com forward slash empire, and it's free. You pay shipping, but it's free. Elena Cardone from Louisiana. Her mom is from Greensboro, a local, making it big, so much so that the term empire is used. Congratulations on life. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Definitely. And much more talk of Alabama after this break.